welcome back to my channel. Drew here from Long Fox, and today I have kind of my biannual Amazon favorites videos. I do these very sparingly because as many of you guys know, I use a ton, a ton, a ton of vintage in all of my designs. It's really what I love. I love secondhand. I love repurposing old items. And a little shameless plug, if you're someone that loves vintage, you gotta pop on over to my website, lonefox.com. Over the past like week and a half or so, I've been uploading over 200 different vintage items. It is the best the website has ever been at the moment, like the assortment that is on there. So much incredible art, furniture, decor and it's all been uploaded over the past like two weeks or so and the thing is is that if you're following me over on instagram it's lone fox home you actually probably saw all of these amazon items i'm going to be sharing with you guys because i post favorites every week on my stories or things that i've been loving as they come in or just like in story posts but then i compile them all together in a video like this which has been probably six months since my last one so of course anything you see in this video will be linked in the description box below um it's easily accessible there and why don't we go ahead and dive on in first I'm going to talk about is something that I actually purchased on Prime Day. So this is very new to me, but I had to put it at the start of this video because I am obsessed with this. I have seen so many people talk about this. It has so many Amazon reviews. This is the Bissell Little Green like steam cleaner. So you can use this on your upholstery, truly like any type of upholstery. I have a white boucle sofa and it has gotten stained over like the past year and a half. I've had it in this living room. It's just had some like large gray discolored marks on it and they have bothered me so much so when this went on sale for prime day i picked it up i don't believe it's still on sale however i think it's still under a hundred dollars this is just so incredibly useful handy and a no-brainer steam cleaner like in my head i'd be like i am not steam cleaning my furniture i don't know how to get out a steam cleaner i don't want to attach things up to it i don't want to go through the hassle you know what i mean so this thing makes it so easy. You literally put the water in one side with some of their solution. It sprays out of the nozzle. You clean it with the hose. It sucks up and pulls all the liquid out of the upholstery as well and puts the dirty water in this side. This thing is truly a lifesaver. I cleaned my sofa downstairs in under 15 minutes and I'm gonna be using it on the rest of the upholstery in my home. It is brand new to me, but it's probably one of my favorite items, especially because I do thrift or I buy a lot of upholstery secondhand. I'm now able to actually clean those pieces because a lot of times I'm not able to and now I could clean those. Let's get into some cute things, why don't we? I thought I'd start with frames, but I have come across so many cute frames recently on Amazon. I actually have four different ones here for you. A few of them I have my own art in, but this one I found recently and I think is so cute. I haven't changed the art in this one yet, but look at the green side on this, the shape. It kind of gives like crest vibes a little bit and then the simple little motif at the top with the gold. You can put this on a gallery wall if you'd want to, or it can be on a tabletop. A lot of these that I'm going to share are actually more so tabletop style frames, but I believe this one holds a five by seven piece of art. So this is the first one. And I've also been completely in love with like silver and pewter and just the tone of silver, chrome, that shiny color at the moment. This frame, I added this little piece of art to it, which I think is so cute. It has like a little guy in red and this has been in the laundry room, but I love the shape of this frame. It's super simple. It's actually pretty heavy as well. I was surprised when I got this. And this again is something you could hang on the wall. You can do horizontal on the table, vertical on the table. It's just simple and easy, but it has a little bit of shine and it kind of just feels romantic and French at the same time to me. Kind of has like an art nouveau feel to it and editing Drew popping in because I forgot to actually grab this vase to film for the sit down portion. I filmed the B-roll before, but this is the best glass, like crystal style footed vase I have found. I have purchased multiple of them. It comes in a bunch of different facets and I just love the shape of this. I don't know if the coquette trend has kind of left yet, but I know for a while everyone was obsessed with bows on everything and I found the cutest frame. Yeah, I ordered this a while back, but I had to share it with you guys because it's gonna be perfect in some space. How cute is this little bow frame? First of all, it's an oval, which I think is such a fun shape, especially for a frame that has like an accented bow at the top. Like this is a perfect little standalone piece of art. If you need to fill a small wall, give a small little section, maybe on the side of a doorway or something. This is such a cute little element to pop. Again, it has a hanger on the backside, which is nice. Um, but I love the organic nature of the bow on the top. And this one actually looks authentically vintage. Like it looks like there's actually dust almost inside 
outside of this, which is crazy because it feels like it's like a found frame. And I love the beaded edge. It's just really cute. Kind of going frame crazy here, but I actually got these ones for my office, my little office nook area, because it is a little darker in that space. And I kind of wanted these to go against the wood paneling I applied on the wall, just like adding these to the shelves. I thought it'd be a cute little pop of color. And these are kind of like ceramic frames. They kind of look like they're tiled, which I know this was also a trend for a bit, but I love the look of this tiled one. This one here is striped and they come in a set, but something about them kind of feel postmodern and just kind of funky, especially when you mix these with like traditional vintage pieces or items that have more of like a rustic look like this vase here. I think mixing these in like this on top of the mantle with sort of the setup around here would be a nice little touch. And there's multiple different colorways. So there's not just this set of three, there's like five or six different colorways. I got this one for my office and I put all these little kind of pictures of some historic buildings in them, which I think look really cute. I'm gonna go into something a little random again, but another item that I came across one day when I was just scrolling, scrolling through the Amazon, and this one was another thing where I was like, gosh, this has so many reviews and it's so random, but I bought it and I understand it is a battery organizer. The thing is, is when you go into a junk drawer, there really are batteries everywhere. Like they come out of the package, you leave the package half ripped open, half them are in, half them are out. You put the batteries that you already used back in the drawer. So then people use them thinking they're new. And I know we all do it. This is going to be your new best friend though, because you can actually store all your different types of batteries. And it has a battery tester in the middle, which is great. So you can test to see if the battery is charged or not. And I just like this because it fits really in any sort of junk drawer if you will that's where i keep mine because it really is nice just have it organized like even down in this slot i have a little key battery like for your car key you know like if it happens to go out that one's saved really nice and convenient i just know that i can check this or bring it somewhere if i need to like load batteries into something i don't know exactly what i need um i just like this it's handy cute another random kind of cute item as you guys saw in a recent diy i actually created a tissue box cover out of a quilt i love the look of these kind of fabric really soft tissue box covers they make the tissue box just feel super casual there's something about it than your traditional kind of like more steel or like harder metal tissue shoe box where that it's just popping out these fabric ones are cute and this one i found on amazon i love the print on it's almost like a corduroy with the red and the mustard and the green i just think this is such a nice one and then the top is also really nice and finished as well so you can use it put it on your tissue box. It also comes in a few different prints as well, but I wanted to share this one because I got this one for our upstairs living room. Basically get whatever tissue box you want then and you don't have to worry, which is nice. This is something I've acquired since getting Winston and this is a reusable lint roller. And this thing has come in so freaking handy because you can actually just wash this off in the sink. You guys like lint roll yourself. It is so sticky, way stickier than the ones that actually are on the actual sticky paper. Once you're done, you just wash it off in the sink. Everything comes off, you let it dry. It becomes fully sticky again. It is incredible. I would show you right now, but I don't even think I really need to lint roll in. I'm trying to look to see if anything's linty around here. Normally though, Winston's hair is all over this thing. I was actually using this the other day and then Justin walked in and he asked what it was and I told him it was a reusable lint roller and he had no idea there were reusable lint rollers, which I didn't either until a couple months ago when I got Winston, found out about this. It is great. You can use it on your bed, your furniture. If you're a stylist, this is gonna come in handy. Since we're in the realm of sticky and also Winston, something else that I've got because of Winston that is sticky on the backside is this fly trap. And I've also seen people talk about these. I think people do a lot of brand deals with this company called Zevo. But I, I mean, I purchased the item because what this actually does, this is a new one that I put in here. But what this does is it actually traps flies. And the thing is, is that on the balcony now is where Winston uses his porch potty. So I'm constantly opening that door to clean, you know, the porch potty off. And there's so many flies that are out there now because of it and this has come in so handy i actually keep this by that area but you can put this in your kitchen if you want to you can really put it anywhere like your garage this actually attracts the flies and then it traps them on the back side and catches them this is another item that i am definitely newer to i've only had it for about a month now but it's been working great these were something that i added to my cart one day and i didn't mean to order them i didn't necessarily not mean to order them but i didn't mean to order them however i love them they actually came and they're so much more beautiful than 
they looked on the photos, but basically they are these sort of modular candlesticks. And if you could see, the top piece here with the opening actually holds a tea light and this side holds your traditional taper candle. But the thing is, is that you can actually stack them. So you get six of them in a package and you can stack them. So you can make like a really tall taper holder if you want to, a tall tea light holder. You could break them up and create two. You can flip them over and do one tea light holder and one taper holder. I just think these are super universal. I also love the idea of ordering more colors and mixing and matching the colors together. I just think these are really cute. They shine and reflect light beautifully. I've really, really been loving colored glass at the moment too. If you're in the market for some candlesticks or you're throwing like a party or something, I feel like this is just nice because you can split them up along a table or you can stack them if it's like a more intimate event or something. I absolutely love natural stone in designs, whether it be a natural stone countertop, a natural stone inclusion in decor, a natural stone tray, if you will, but um, normally natural stone trays or just like anything made out of stone is on the more expensive side. So I've actually been ordering these for projects over the past like year and a half or so. You guys have seen that one Calcutta Viola tray I've used in my living room for so many years. It's stunning and it's on Amazon. It's like 60 bucks. It now comes in this pink marble, which is so good i love it the bottom actually has like a nice silicone kind of base so it won't scratch your surface it's just like the perfect little bathroom or coffee table tray comes in a ton of different styles of marble i have i think the viola or the monet style one and it is so pretty kind of the more classic look to it but the pink one i had to pick it up because i hadn't seen it it's like a pink quartz because it has these crystal bits in it and then also i got this one which is so cool it kind of reminds me of terrazzo mixed with granite which i know sort of sounds odd but i promise you it has this retro feel to it the rounded corners also add something and i love the little lip how it has a facet on it just the stone that this was created from is so unique but if you need something with a little bit more shape maybe something on a nightstand a little smaller i have you covered because look at this this is the most stunning cutest tray i've seen in my life like look at this marble this is calcutta viola this is sort of like one of those anastasio home style trays which retail for upwards of 300 dollars, and i think this is like 50 or less dollars the perfect little catch-all dish you can use this as like a spoon rest in the kitchen if you wanted to for your jewelry for soap i just think it's super universal and i love the shape and the silhouette and also the thickness of the marble it's just like a nice durable piece another sort of household cleaning item which this is the third one of these i've ordered and that's because i've had this product that i've never even shared on my youtube channel i don't think except for in makeovers because you guys have seen me mopping the floors with my o cedar mop so many times but the thing about this is like i also feel like mopping the floors is something that feels a little old school as well it's kind of like you have the swiffers nowadays i feel like they just don't do as great of a job when you really need to like deep clean your floors and something like this makes it so easy you just fill up the bucket with some hot water you add in like your mopping solution in there as well and the nice thing is, is it has this sort of like salad spinner style bowl here which the mop head actually goes into and it rings out the water so you're just kind of moving back and forth between it rings out the water for you which is super nice and then you have all the dirty water in the bottom there it makes it so easy to clean up i just find myself buying a new one like every few years because after a couple years this, the mop head does kind of get a little grosser but as you can see this one's on the newer side but a lot of you would know that i've used this mop forever because i've had it on the channel for a while another one of those items on amazon that has just a shocking amount of reviews i think this has like over 200,000 or something i feel like i've been blabbing for so long but i just have a couple more things to share with you first one being flexible molding if you have ever wanted to add molding to a project that is curved angled into an archway around like a coffee table that might be rounded or a seat or something like that i found this moldable molding which i did not know about on amazon it's actually self-adhesive on the back side and i cannot wait to use this on a project it's fully paintable as well so you put this on you can paint it you can even do wall molding with this if you wanted to or like add it onto the top of baseboards to make them look a little chunkier and it comes in a bunch of different styles as as well so i just wanted to share this more so as if you're in the market or you're wanting to do a project and you don't know how to get the molding around kind of a rounded area this is a great alternative to that if you've ever used a shop vac before you would know that they just clean up like no other it is just insane how well a shop vac does but they are very large 
unless you purchase yourself a little mini shop vac like I did for my crafting area because I was using that tabletop vacuum but that really only works for crumbs but this one here is a miniature shop vac and you guys this thing has the strongest highest power if you need a little vacuum in your apartment you are a crafter um I'm trying to think what else this could be used for like in the garage if you have a smaller garage or something this thing works absolute wonders you guys it is unreal like I would highly highly recommend picking one of these up if you're in the market for like a craft vacuum the suction on this is unreal it picks up truly anything as well it's a wet dry shop vac too so if you needed to like clean up any sort of liquid I find myself reaching for this so much more often because I don't have to go upstairs and get the entire vacuum I have this downstairs in my crafting area and I can just clean anything up it holds enough to where I only have to empty it like every few times and last but not least another sort of modern touch which you guys know I love adding those little modern touches to my spaces like I definitely incorporate majority vintage elements and things that kind of really speak to to being vintage like older woods and kind of like old pots and stuff but I love adding those super sort of futuristic elements every now and then and I came across this lamp recently which I've had in this downstairs room and I just think that the chrome is so cute it's also completely a touchable lamp to turn on so if you had this plugged in you can touch here you can touch on the top and it varies between four different brightness levels which is great too so it's kind of like a little bit of a mood light but the shape of it is so cute it's extremely affordable comes in tons of different colors as well, but I opted for the chrome colorway. And that, my friends, concludes this Amazon favorites video. Those were just a bunch of items. I kind of went around my house today and was like, what are things I have been loving? Because you might have seen, I have not been posting as much over the past couple of weeks, honestly. A bunch of endings to projects kind of came up all at once and I was just tied into a bunch. I just couldn't get around to filming. So I wanted to film some additional content for you guys. But I hope that you enjoyed this one. And if you did, definitely give it a big thumbs up do not forget to also follow me over on instagram because if you actually do follow me you've probably seen a good majority of these i actually post amazon collages every single week on my instagram story of things that i'm loving things i've purchased all the links are in the description box below and thank you guys so much for watching this video i will catch you in the next one bye